low. I think it's day 25 or 6. Looking down on Cajun Junction or Cajon Junction. Not really sure. Um, but you can see those trains moving there. Or no, those are the cars. There's some trains close by too. Anyway, I could hear those all night. Uh, did get McDonald's today. Uh, you know, in regular life, I feel like I don't eat a lot of fast food, but dear Lord, am I ready for fast food uh, when I run into a town. Uh, I had Del Taco uh, for East Coast people. That's kind of a half step up from Taco Bell out here in the West uh, yesterday. I probably ate like $17 worth of, you know, fast food, Mexican food, and it was wonderful. Um, everything comes with a cost, as we all know, uh, with Taco Bell. Um, anyway, uh, at this McDonald's, um, I knew it was my uh, last option for water for like 22 miles. Um, Unbeknownst to me, oh, you can get a little look at one of the one of the signs telling you where to go. Ah, uh, it's Pacific Crest Emblem, and hey, sign here you go. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, it's like only place for water in like until 22 miles later. So I'm like, ah, oh, well, it's what you got to do: filling up water in the bathroom. Uh, I did not know there was a little water cache, which is like something that uh, trail angels or very nice people will put at spe specific points on the trail to kind of help the hikers out, like break up that 22 mile gap. I didn't know there was one of those, so I'm like, I got six liters of water. Uh, obviously, people in the bathroom are like, who is this strange, bearded, smelly person filling up water bottles in mcdonald's bathroom and has a monster backpack um there is a term called trail trash which uh you know is a descriptor of people doing through hikes and uh you know when they just have to do uh less than savory things as you wouldn't have to do in normal life but uh you know the situation calls for it for instance I needed water, and McDonald's bathroom was the place. Uh, so I was just getting a lot of looks. Uh, it's like the busiest McDonald's I've ever seen, literally, too. I guess this place in the middle of nowhere. Holiday weekend and lunchtime, and it's like a line of 10 women waiting for the women's bathroom, watching me load in all my backpack up with all my water, and in my water bladder so, yeah well this is happening uh, so anyway um probably gonna hike into the night a little bit it's uh, about time that i start upping my average mileage per day uh i did the math and i'll have finished about 400 miles in may and that's 15 miles a day or thereabouts since I started on May 4th, which isn't terrible, but uh, I need to be around 20 to 22 miles per day going forward. So uh, 20 is my new my new requirement for the day. And uh, let's see, since I didn't start until probably 10.30 today, that means I might have to hike till like 9, maybe a little after today. And, you know... That'll be in the dark and is what it is. It's just uh, kind of who I am, a late sleeper. Some of these people can get up at 4 a.m. and get going before the sun rises. I have not been able to do that. So yeah, here I am. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see the smog over there in L.A. That's where I did my zero, my uh, second non-hiking day with Jenny right before she left. Um, yesterday we stayed in San Bernardino um, and 
suburb of LA and the smog in LA is super gross. It's like nothing I've ever seen. And you can see it right there. Like this is what the normal air looks like. Oh, hello LA. Super gross. Everything in that valley. Let's talk about emphysema. Uh, all right. See you later.